Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of July 2016. Keep in mind this is a general energy surrounding Scorpio. You can also check out your moon or your rising sign. If you need a personalized reading, you can visit my website. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Scorpio, what you're currently desiring or valuing, what's important to you in the month of July, we have the five of swords. Okay, so what this tells me right off the bat is this is a thought process. It's represented by a sword. So this is your thinking. It could be a sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This card represents loss. So what I'm feeling is, is that in the past, some of you have dealt with, this card can represent accidents, loss, humiliation, uh, being tormented, feeling dissatisfied, feeling discontent with life. And so what I feel like is, you know, Scorpio, you've been through some type of battle and you're really this month, you're saying, you know what? I'm going to muster my inner strength, my inner power, my inner thought process because you're very powerful and I'm going to fight against anything that's adverse in my life. Anything that has tried to get me down, I am going to change my thought process. That is your desire. Um, this is really about being ready, being on guard, uh, you know, feeling empowered about overcoming anything that has been adverse. So I really feel a very strong uh, fighting energetic power coming from you this month where, you know, you are aware, you're aware of the things that have happened. You're aware. Um, this card can represent that, you know, maybe someone has not been honest with you. Maybe you've dealt with someone that has had a hidden agenda and it just, you know, you haven't been able to trust someone and it could also represent something that was lost or is not, has not been fair. Maybe someone has left without any explanation. I'm just, I'm giving you what this card means. So, you know, this is going to relate differently to everybody. This card can, can represent being dishonored, experiencing a defeat, a loss. And so I just feel that a lot of you are, are empowered this month to, to, to fight, to fight for who you are, to fight for what you believe in. Uh, to fight for the good in your life, to overcome, to be an overcomer. And, you know, Scorpio is all about transformation. It's about experiencing the depths, experiencing the dark. I mean, a lot of signs would be really afraid of these types of things, Scorpio. So you need to give yourself a pat on the back that you are brave. You are a warrior. You're not afraid to go to the depths of the earth. And even if it's scary there, even if you have to discover the darkness because you know the power of the phoenix rising you know that you know you the glory that you can experience when you experience the depths you can also experience the heights and so that's what i feel like you're going to do this month you're going to start shifting your energy and maybe there's things that have gone on a downward you know they've just been gone from bad to worse in the past but you're about shifting it you're like okay i've experienced the depths now we're going to shift that i'm going to use my innate god-given power because scorpio you're incredibly powerful whatever you fixate on whatever you focus on you create and so i really feel strongly that you're going to utilize the power of your mind to start fighting against some of these adverse experiences and everybody has had them no one is immune anyone that's a human being is going to be touched by some type of tragedy um, the beauty of your sign is that 
you know, kind of the blessing and the curse is that you experience things so powerfully and deeply and they affect you, but they affect you so that you can be transformed into something more beautiful and powerful and a healer. Uh, so uh, I feel already very strongly, Scorpio, this is a very healing month for you that you're really taking your power back, that you're really saying, you know what? Yeah, things have been hard. There's been disappointment. There's been discouragement. There's been loss. People haven't been what they were supposed to be. Um, things have been unfair possibly, but you know what? It is what it is. And I'm going to think, I'm going to use the power of my mind because I know how powerful I am. So, wow, get out of your way. You're powerful this month, okay? Very powerful energy surrounding you. And that kind of resonates with what you're valuing, what you're identifying with. Uh, we have the nine of wands. The nine of wands is about a setback, okay? So this is this card just on the surface. It's about learning the importance of waiting and reflecting. It's about someone that has had a very long journey. So, you know, this guy, this gal has walked a million miles okay and they might feel a little tired they might feel a little drained they may feel that all of their energy has been spent it's been a long road and so this is the time that you're that you're sitting back to pause to reflect you may for some of you you may feel like success is far away but the beautiful thing is scorpio it's actually right around the corner you're on the brink of transformation you're on the brink of that phoenix rising from the ashes and gaining all that wisdom and that knowledge and that wealth so that you can you know shine your light in the world um it's closer than you think so you're kind of at that last stretch where you're really you're looking at everything you're looking at you know the hurt the pain you're seeing all that you're feeling tired however there's a beauty in this because now you can pause you can reflect you can take what you have learned you can go you can dig deep you can find that inner strength and that resource which only you have to keep going and it's going to be your perseverance that you have this is another gift that you have um, perseverance refusal to give up refusal to quit you're going to make that final push and you're going to call upon God, your inner reserves, and you will be successful. Okay. And so this is what you value. This is, this is getting down to that digging deep. And I feel Scorpio that you don't like the superficial. You don't like those people that don't get down to, you know, who they really are, their core. You like things that push you to your, to your limits and to your edge to see what you're really made of. So I feel like a lot of you are at a very deep place and to me, it's beautiful. Um, and so, like I said, some of you might feel tired, but what's beautiful about this is this is a fire energy. So this is saying, God in the universe is saying, is that you have that resource. You have that inner push. You may not feel that you do, but you do. You have more strength than you know inside, and you're going to utilize it to get to your goals and to your dreams. So here is the obstacle or the challenge. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like God's giving you a break this month because it's not really an obstacle or a challenge. I think you've already had enough of those, Scorpio. Uh, we have the eight of wands. The eight of wands represents gratification. So when this card on the surface, it's if you've experienced setbacks of any kind, be encouraged because swift energy of positive change is coming and satisfaction is on its way to you sudden bursts of activities, excitement, even good news. Energy is starting to shift into your favor. It's going to bring relief, satisfaction, and pleasure, and you will be pleased. I feel like God's saying, Scorpio, this is what's on its way to you. And the reason why it's in the challenge position is because maybe because you've been through so much crap, it's hard to believe that. It's like, okay, sure, you know, but you know, I've been thinking that for months, <laughs> but God's saying, no, Scorpio, I have great things planned for you. I have pleasure for you. Um, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be happy. I have great things for you. I love you. I, you know, God has great things. The universe loves you. And so I know that when we get beat down, sometimes it's hard to believe that it's like, Oh, no matter what I do, you know? Um, so the challenge is going to be that these good things are on their way to you. And the fact is they are, but because some of you, like I said, have had this, such this long journey, it's easy at the very, you know, when we're almost there, it's like, that's the hardest point to, to have faith. Cause it's like, Oh, you know, how much more can I take? But that's actually when you're, you're almost there. Like if you just push a little bit more, you're going to get everything you desire. And so 
the challenge is going to be this month to continue to believe and to have faith that even though you've had this long, arduous, arduous task, journey, experience, um, that amazing things are on their way to you, Scorpio. Whatever, whatever that is. And I'm keeping this very general because it's going to apply differently to anyone. It could be relationship. It could be family. It could be work. It could be health. It could be financial. It could be spiritual. So I'm keeping this very broad for you. Okay, as far as the actions to take, Scorpio, we actually have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is an Earth energy, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the Knight of Pentacles is about working. And what I feel like the universe is saying is put aside the deep emotional pain or loss or whatever you've experienced and act as if put your nose to the grindstone and do the work as you can see this guy or gal is just diligent they're just diligently working and i feel like that's what that's going to help you this month just to kind of alleviate whatever depths that you've gone through whatever you're passionate about scorpio tune your energy into something that's going to make you feel productive that's going to make you feel like you're actually producing something tangible in the real world. Because you know, when we have the earth signs, they're very much about creating material wealth or producing, manifesting real tangible things. They're not about fluff or abstract ideas. It's a very unemotional energy as well. This is literally about, you know, rain or shine. I'm just going to get up. I'm going to just do my work and be persistent. This is also being very methodical, um, being persistent, just day in, day out, worker, like a worker bee, okay? So I feel like these action, this action, and this is also about taking action. It's not about sitting on the sidelines. It's about actually doing, doing something that is going to channel your energy, your physical energy is going to help you. This can also talk about finding a mentor um, you know, surrounding yourself with people that are going to inspire you or someone that you look up to or someone that, you know, you see as a leader, a natural leader, someone that you can kind of glean their energy from. Um, that's going to also help assist you in your goals and your dreams, finding someone that you can emulate or that you respect and just study them, learn, observe. This is all about methodically being patient and waiting and I feel that if you take that approach and you just persevere, I do feel that, you know, things are going to start shifting. Good things are going to start coming to you. Things are going to start materializing for you. So that's awesome. And it actually really correlates with the attitude to have with others. We have another earth sign. Now we have the king of pentacles. So once again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So the universe is just really saying, take this approach, take this very earth grounded rational, factual, uh, you know, left side of your brain approach to things. Now is not the time to really, you know, delve into your deep emotions. You've already done that. I feel like for a lot of you now is the time to, you know, work and have the attitude, have the mindset that, you know, very factual where if I do A, B, C, it's going to lead to D, E, and F. Like, you know, methodically that if you do this step, it's very unemotional. It's very detached. You just, you know, based on the facts that this is what's going to happen. So this also tells me that you have, you know, you have several earth signs here. Um, some of the people that you could be associating with this month could be an a, a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or have a similar energy. This energy is about being mature. It's about having an authoritative energy. Um, this is also coming from an economic financial standpoint. So this person is not afraid to work hard and they could be a banker into management, a financer, a builder, a farmer. So I really feel like whatever you have been doing, Scorpio, dealing with your finances and you know, your work, and what you're producing in the physical world is really going to be beneficial for you for this month because you've been through a lot and I feel like just putting your physical energy, channeling it into something that is going to pro pro provide finance for you, security, stability, and just kind of getting your mind off of, um, you know, your feelings, your emotions, your deep experiences, and knowing that if you do the work, you're going to get results. I feel strongly about that.
All right, so let's recap before we get to the outcome. So as far as what you're desiring this month, Scorpio, I feel like some of you have had some hard times and you're ready to take control of your mind. You're ready to take control of your thought processes. You're well aware of the darkness or of things that, you know, haven't gone well. Okay. But I feel that a lot of you this month are determined. You're ready to shift this energy. You're ready to change your thoughts. Um, and what you're valuing and identifying with is the nine of wands. You're familiar with feeling challenge having obstacles you overcome so many obstacles you fought through you've had a long journey whatever it's been and you are tired you are tired however you're at the end and you know that success is around the corner maybe you don't know that but that's what the universe is saying that you know just push a little bit more um you know delve deep and you will be successful the challenge or obstacle quote unquote we have um, the eight of wands, which is about gratification. And this is about just being satisfied, being happy, knowing that good things are coming to you. I feel like good things are coming to you. And that is the challenge is to believe it because you've been through some hard things. You've seen some hard times, but God in the universe is saying, no, I have amazing things in store for you. They're just around the corner. The reason you went through all this stuff is because you're meant to help and teach others. As far as the right actions to take, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is about doing your work, being diligent, um, putting your nose to the grindstone and being kind of unemotional about it, not over analyzing it, but just saying, you know what, if I put in the time, I'm going to get a result. Okay. Um, and taking action to do that. As far as the attitude to have with others, same energy. Now we even take it up a notch higher. We have the King of Pentacles where this guy knows his stuff. He does not doubt. He knows that one plus one equals two. Okay. He's very factual. Um, he's not emotional. He is very authoritative. So this is the energy that you're meant to have with yourself and others. This is basically that if I do these things, if I start thinking positive about this, eventually I will have good results. Okay. So really taking authority and power in that. If you do these things, Scorpio, we actually have as the outcome, the queen of cups. And this is what's beautiful is that this is going to balance your energy. If you use your, your rational mind, your emotions are going to become balanced. We have the queen of cups and this represents the mother. This is like your emotions in their most purest, beautiful form. Scorpio, when you're feeling safe, secure, and empowered, you are an incredibly healing, nurturing, loving, loyal, caring soul. Okay. And I feel like that's what is going to manifest for you. This energy, I mean, when you have a mother here, a pure mother love energy, this is a very wise and honest woman or man. I mean, obviously it's a mother, but um, the male can, can have, you know, feminine, female qualities. This is a very kind and friendly person who is able to help you and can help others in assisting their dreams to come true. They're sensitive to other people's feelings. They don't force themselves on anyone, but they're always there when somebody needs them. Okay. This is what God has intended for you. This is your energy kind of at a very high resonance frequency. And what's beautiful about this is, you know, your power, you're incredibly powerful, but you don't push it on anybody else. You use it gently like a mother, very loving, very caring. So I really feel like the energy here is to encourage you to remind you that amazing things are on the way to balance your emotions and you're going to feel satisfied, happy, safe, and complete um, as you continue your path. So I really hope this has helped. If it has, I would so appreciate you to like and subscribe to this channel. It's going to make sure that you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Scorpio, I really appreciate you and I thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.